All right, we're going old school for this. There is something I'd like to discuss about a problem I have with modern fiction. Whether it's movies, video games, or general public input about the various. Um, particularly about the perception of the story. Um, I'm sure there's a more technical term. I'm a college dropout, so I'll have to apologize for my ignorance. Okay, now, I watch a lot of horror movies. Read a lot of horror books. Um, all that sort of thing. And, you know, the terms you hear thrown out, thrown around a lot, is that it's scarier if you don't see it. You know, to use your imagination in your head, it's going to be way scarier than anything you ever see. And, uh, to a degree, this is true. Um, certainly small, subtle things, sounds, can be very scary. Uh, music tracks, um, you know, the little hint of movement in the background, or something changing position when you're not looking that shouldn't be able to. Yeah, those are creepy. But, um, as like a general rule, like to make it scary means to make it so you don't see it, no. What's, what becomes scary for us, what plays in our heads, are things we have seen, things that we know about and that we're scared of. If we never see anything, we'll never be scared of it. And it's, it's good build-up, but if you don't show it, whatever it is, the monster, the creature, the, the scene of the murder, the crime, whatever, it didn't happen. Okay, I don't care what your fucking philosophy is behind it, what reasoning you decided, some bag-ass logic that it's, it's better if I don't see it. No, it doesn't fucking exist if I don't see it. If I don't hear it, I, it's, something has to be there. And then if I never get to see it, then it never was. It was a trick in my fucking head the whole time, alright? The whole fucking time. Keep it in mind, all right? And it goes further. Stories. Inconclusive stories. Oh, well, we wanted the readers slash viewers slash gamers to just imagine what happened. You know, to let them picture in their heads how it played out from there. Fuck you, all right? Finish your story. If you don't finish it, I'm not going to finish it for you. I'm not going to write a series of fan fictions like, oh, wait, well, this is what happened. They got together and then, you know, they got fucking plastered and then they all passed out on the lawn. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do that for you, alright? If you don't finish your story, it's not finished. Okay? I don't care if your ending sucks. End it. Tell the complete story. If you don't tell the complete story, it sucks. It's not a full story. You're telling a part of a story, you're giving an idea. You might as well be sitting next to me in a room just saying, hey, you know, imagine what if, yeah, okay, sure. Go, run with that. And then you think I'm going to want to pay you to hear that? To play it in a game, right? To sit there and say, oh, no, you know, Sure, here's $60 to just tell me your idea, your concept, your, your generalization, whatever the fuck is playing in your head. Okay, no. Don't do it. If you don't want to finish the story, it's because you're lazy. Alright, there's no taking place in my head or that shit. I can make stuff up in my head all day. I don't need you to do it for me. I don't need you to start the process or to set things up. Alright? That's my two cents in my shitty video. If you like it, great. If you don't, no one cares. I don't care. You don't care. Moving on. See you next time.